Hello everyone, welcome to Creepy Nibs, I'm Count Chuckula. Today we have the second installment of Fire Swatch with me. Um, this will be on Birmingham Pens, Pens Parcel, p p p p p p p p for uh, May 2019. So, let's just hop right in. I've done the unboxing of this box of mystery inks. I believe these are all new additions to the Birmingham Inks collection. So we're going to start with this one. Lead glass. Lead glass. A grayish green. So what I do when I do my swatches, I have this mini glass dip pen doodad. And I have some brushes. And I will be using the brushes to swatch and the glass pen to write the name. So, dip in there a little bit. Okay. Doing this over camera is going to suck, but whatevs. Oh, let's do the focus there. Nice. Good stuff. Alright. Rinse off that dip nib. Gently put it over there. Get a brush. Get a brush in the ink. Alrighty. Yeah, this is really nice. Yeah, I don't have anything in my collection that I can really compare this to. So that's a good thing. I bet this is going to have some awesome shading when I use it in a pen. Hell yeah. Pretty color. I'm probably going to do some color correction in post to make this look less teal than it does to me, but hey, hey, right on. That's nice. I like it. I like it quite a bit. I'll be excited to be using this ink. I may even do a review on it at some point. So we'll recap this vial. Put this... Safe place to dry. And we'll go with number two, which is field tourniquet. Dirt, dirt. Alrighty. Coloring card there. You know what? I, I did. I dipped the nib into this tiny hole that has ink in it. So that is convenient. I like it. Cool. That's pretty. It reminds me a lot of uh, Rohrer and Klingner's Alt Gold Glue. So that's nice. I like that ink. I have purchased quite a few samples of it. Not like a lot, but more than one. More than one. All right. Oh yeah, this is, wow, this is almost exactly alt gold gloom. So if you have that... Try 
trying to hold my breath so that there's not as much heavy breathing as there was in my last video because that put the creepy and creepy nibs, um, I'm sure, to some of you. So uh, I'm going to try not to do that this time. And it's quite difficult because I like breathing. It is... Buena para su salud. So there we go. Field tourniquet. Eh. Go over there. All right. Numero tres. Is Summer Jade. Summer Jade. It's this greeny turquoise dealio. So that should look pretty gorgeous. All right. Oop, I got some ink on my finger. Don't want to cross contaminate. Yes! Pretty stuff, pretty stuff. Not a color I would normally go for, of course, because, you know, anybody watching this probably knows my tastes in ink, and pens, and stuff. Try to get this brush clean from the last one. Golly, gee willikers. Okay, think we're good. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, holy friggin' turquoise. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't call this a jade color, that's for sure. Doesn't look like any jade I've ever seen. And again, I'm not exactly well versed in gemstones and semi precious stones and all of that jazz. So, uh,. Maybe Chris will have some insight into that. She's good about the whole crystal thing. She's pretty cool. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've seen some of her videos and you know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, leave a comment and I will link to her channel. So, ooh, two more to go, two more to go. Find a safe, oh shit, I got ink everywhere all over that one, whatever, who cares? Not a big deal, it's the same ink, so it's not gonna affect anything negatively. All right, oh, let me move this paper so that it's not gonna do anything bad to the things. All right. Card, come to me. Okay, dude, and Jack and Jill, vial. It is a brown. It's a nice brown. I like this brown. It's a brown, and I like it. Focus on the part that I want you to focus on. You stupid slut. Do it. Okay, anyway. Jack and Jill went up the hill to buy some more fountain pen ink, even though they didn't need any. If you didn't know, I am Jack and also Jill. We are the same. Do 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 do. All right. 
Nein. Fun stuff. New brush. Get a new brush. Dippy dip. Yeah. This is really nice. I highly enjoy the shade of brown. It seems like shading on this one is going to be fantastic when used in a pen too. I am excited. Fabtastic. This is great. Ugh. Cap the vial. Alrighty. Let's put this in the spot. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. That's good. That's good. It's good. I dig it. Dig it like a grave. Oh, oh, this is my desk is not big enough for these kinds of videos. <laughs> Gotta make things go places and and bad at it. Rinse the brush from the last one. Okay, last and certainly not least, the one I am most excited for. Black mold. The mold is black. And I like that color because it goes with everything. Look at this paper towel. That's gorgeous. You get a little bit of chromatography out of that summer jade. You see all the blue in it. Yeah, let's see. We got anything else interesting? Nah. Hmm, not really. That uh lead glass looks pretty nice. It's gray and that he's green. Hell yeah! Boop a dip boop. Okay, okay, final card. Ooh. Mm. I like it. Alright. Black mold, black, black mold, feed it to your family. No, oh, don't do that, it's a bad idea. Black mold, it's black mold, Carl. Not Carl, it's Frank. Twin Peaks season three is a trip. Watch it if you haven't. Black mold. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Whew. I love this color. I want a bottle of it already, and I've never even used it. Holy shit balls, yes. Not sure whether I'd classify it as a brown or as a warm gray. Hmm. 
I don't know. I'll have to use it in a pen to find out. But right now I'm leaning towards brown. But yeah, that was Fire Swatch with me for May 2019 of Birmingham's Pen Parcel. Let's get all the the friendos in frame here. We'll zoom out. Black mold over on the end. Lead glass. Field tourniquet. Summer jade. Jack and Jill. Oop, I'm going to put that in a thing. Let's not leave that in a puddle. That would be nice. There we go. So that was fun. I hope you had fun. This was fun. Uh, so I will see you all again at a time that is not now. Bye!